On this episode of NSFW Show, we're joined by the man who just left, uh, Brett the Amtrek Aroundsville. K Cool Man, Corey Coleman of Spill.com. We go over all sorts of nonsense. There's really no point in this episode. Someone gets their cane sprinkled. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 199, recorded on October 8th, 2013. Cosby Mouth. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit. Use the code NSFW. And Ting! Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one cool plan. Save $25 off your first Ting device. Visit NSFW.Ting.com. That's NSFW.Ting.com. And Shutterstock.com with over 1 million high quality video clips. Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code NSFW1013. Webinars, the show that's not only safe for work. Oh my goodness, beautiful people. See the shining sea. Reporting in live from Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, Alabama. Alabama. <clears throat> all right, take two. That's all right. We won't use that one. Reporting live but from Birmingham. But slurrier. <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama. We've got uh, not only Justin Robert Young, but also uh, one Brett the Amtrak of Roundsville. How the hell are you guys? Hey, gang. Uh, wait, how do we get echoed now? Uh, I don't know. Um, probably uh, it's uh, I. It, is, is this some kind of quiz? Bridget I don't know. Bur- I was not ready. Did you British I don't know, man. T- yeah, keep, keep talking. It, it, like we are here live in Birmingham, Alabama. We are ready to do the show. Uh, so much so that we're hearing our voice twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, you know what? Here, I could try this. Tell uh, maybe that'll fix stuff. Keep talking. Yeah. Is that any better? Man, this is the best new bit ever. Checking the mics. <laughs> it's like you got to kind of get ramped up. So here's the thing. We've got Justin and Amtrekker out in Birmingham, Alabama, right here live in studio joining us again from Spill.com. It's Corey oh, K. Man. Coleman Coleman. There Glad to go. be back, Brian. Right. <laughs> I missed you, brother. I missed you so much. I know. I can, I can, I can tell. Oh, You're very excited. I love your facial hair. I can tell. I'm on X right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, all right. And also joining us in studio, we got Bonnie, the invisible wife, Rushwood. Uh, look, here's Hi. the thing, Justin, is um, we sort of had so many episodes for so long that were so tight and so well-managed and good that it's kind of like a big old fat relief to be just dumb again. Just take it back to, to, to what the show originally was, was us running our gums off, not having any agenda or direction. Well, I think the problem was, like, it's not that we necessarily always had a lot planned over the last, like, couple weeks. It's just that uh, things happened. Things just kind of broke our way. Oh, my God. Like, we kept we kept getting amazing guests. You know, we had Michael Rooker on the show. Uh, you did? Live. Yeah, for a Dragon Con episode. Nice. Uh, the guy's, like, testosterone embodied. I've talked to Michael Rooker before. H- how did he make you feel when you talked to him? Horny? <laughs> In fact, when we were done talking, he'd send me a tweet and say, you just got rookered by the rook. <laughs> and I said, you damn right I did. <laughs> that, uh, uh, that actually, that whole you got rookered thing, like, was that, was you got rookered a thing before that's us? That's from our show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he says you got rookered, then uh, then then that's uh, that's from our show. Damn, that's so, <laughs> that's creepy, man. 
that's some surreal. I can't say that. Yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah, yeah. Saying. that's some surreal <laughs> mess, man. You thought I was gonna do it? We've heard that outside of our sphere. That's our freaking group, creepy. That people. Do, do, do you know what I think it might have been, Justin? Is you know somebody set up the Rooker bot. Like anytime somebody mentions Rooker on Twitter. Uh, the Rooker bot, which is just a picture of Michael Rooker, just says, you've been Rookered. Oh, <laughs> so, so, my God. <laughs> yo, I'm going I'm to quote one of my favorite movies. My favorite with Training Day. Okay. Yo, that's trippy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take the F word out of it. No, that's good. Yo, <laughs> just, apparently yo, this has trippy, to be man. safe for work now. It's <laughs> false advertising, oh my God. mother Aww. freaker. Uh, hey, uh, you know what? Actually, uh, it's been, uh, you know, we're one episode away from 200 episodes. So Wait, this is. Is there going to be like. I mean, come on. A special. Oh, we got to figure out something huge for 200. next next episode. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, <laughs> somebody and, says, "Rest in peace, NSFW5." <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to ruin the show like I did last time. Well, okay, but here's the thing: is he don't is, ruin anything. I know. It, it's like it definitely. Well, the one time that he did ruin our ability to curse on the show. Yeah. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, man, that was a hell of a show. Like, yeah, I mean, there like, is some stuff. If you're going to go out, go to. I mean, Corey. <laughs> I loved it. Because I will say the N word so many times combined with the F word. Did we do that? Oh, my God, yes. No, yeah. it was amazing. Do you not remember? Okay, we one of the. <laughs> <laughs> one of the cameras after the show and it's like we are having so much fun and we're on the live stream and this is the fifth episode after they bring us on and and after the show one of the cables gets uh hit and so one of the cameras that's like the wide shot suddenly turns to like a really crappy black and white real fuzzy uh noisy thing <laughs> and and so we start playing it starts to look it also goes like five frames a second so now it looks like old timey film and, look, yeah. and so and so i i find like some an old right Negro up. spiritual being filmed. <laughs> I so, I so, <laughs> more oh, specifically, no. oh, <laughs> inwards no. on that rag. Specific <laughs> terms, ninnies on that rag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was really okay? And so they, they start acting out like I play ragtime music, and you guys are acting like you're in a haunted house. Uh, and it was genuinely hilarious. Uh, but what was really funny was like three weeks later, when uh, when we're at a party at Cargill's house. And uh, and and we were talking about it, and uh, we were recounting that night for you, Corey, because you were like, "Oh yeah, what what happened?" And then we led up to that moment, and then Martin sums it up by saying, "And then we were a credit to our race." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Chimera is pointing out the the awesome times of uh, of Corey hitting on uh, on on uh, Colleen as well from Twin. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. How's she doing? Does she ask about me? Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm not black anymore because well, they won't claim me. What, what, who? who? The black race. What, what, what is this? You Did you get a letter? About? It was after that NSW. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> we no longer own you, Corey Coleman. I accept no you. Own. You got you got wow. uh, <laughs> sized in the with, with, with the menstrual card. <laughs> Uh, How's Colleen doing, by the way? Uh, she's great. She actually went to, over to Google uh, oh, for a did. while. Yeah, well, I guess I can a forget about getting a job there. Yeah, forget about. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the uh, uh, was it the um, uh, the uh, uh, scrap? Uh, I can't even remember that thing, the PR man, yeah. world. That's right. The, what what, what is, uh, HR? The HR interview. The policy. Yeah, screw it. I can't America. Uh, the uh, right though. You should restart it. It's, Start it's, from scratch and say it again. No, people. Right, sure. We are drinking pumpkin ale tonight, which apparently messes up my friend right here that's because i i told you no fruity it's stuff fruit. it's the yeah. real pumpkin all right I so know. Let, let me okay so real, real quick part so hopefully the next time i'll see colleen will be at the hack five pineapple two party which will also be a dale chase uh um who is the other guy that's been on the show before uh, martin wait uh wait no dale chase uh dual core Dual Court. Dual yeah, Court yeah. and, and Dale Chase, they're going to be in Point Richmond this Saturday uh, debuting the new Pineapple 2, from which I'm going to shamelessly try to get one for free. Oh, my God. Thank you the point. I'm going to go up to the party so I can get a Pineapple 2 for free by leveraging my meager online celebrity. There's, I don't know if he's in the audience, but there's a, I'm not going to say his name in case he doesn't want this story told, but uh, there is a hardcore member of Chat Realm who's appeared... Uh, in a number of the live streams, uh, who lives very close here in Austin, and recently he helped me out with a with a with a weird like hacking thing, and he told me a story 
about using, he got his uh, pineapple around 2003, just like two years after 9-11. Uh, and so he went to a place where he could scan a bunch of IPs, sniff a bunch of IPs. Uh, and he, uh, uh, and by the way, if that person is watching right now and gives me permission, then I'll give your code name. Not Alex even your Jones. real name. No, yeah, it is. It's Alex Jones. <laughs> so Alex Jones was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he said. He said, "Listen, I got myself a pineapple. I went to the airport and I was scanning IPs. And I was sitting there, and then all of a sudden, the I IPs had... didn't want themselves sniffed. Now, why don't they make themselves so tasty? Ask yes. yourself that. Yes. So, all of a sudden, the, the pineapple helicopter showed up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so so he's sitting there uh, just sniffing IPs. He's excited to have his his new toy, and then all of a sudden, someone from the uh, uh, I, I, this was at the Atlanta airport." TSA walks over and and basically says, uh, "Sir, we're gonna, you're gonna have to come with me. Take him in a back room." All he was doing was using um, software to just see who was poking around his his Wi-Fi, his Wi-Fi pineapple, right? By the letter of law, nothing illegal about it. But the atmosphere was so caustic at that point that he looked like he was doing hacky, dangerous stuff. They end up confiscating his work laptop, all of his equipment, like $10,000 of stuff, because this guy's in the IT in uh, industry. He has to freaking drive home. He has to rent a car and drive home and was banned. He was on the no-fly list for like, uh, for like uh, I don't know, we'll say a million years. I don't know. He, he could only start flying like three years ago. What? How crazy is that? And oh. it's like, and they, 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 they made up some trumped up. The, the kid, he was 22 at the time, and so he didn't know what to do. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll sign whatever you want. And, uh, and then they end up like, uh, they put him on the no-fly list. Now he has a record and he's in the system. And so now, and get this, he tells me another story that he's running like six servers at his house because he's got uh, like some big project he's working on for IT. And so now uh, the, uh, the, the, the local police see his electric bill spiking through the roof. They show that, you know, the thermal, you know, giant heat sinks, lots of AC, whole bunch of power drawn into this little unit. Uh, they look, the guy's got a record because of this thing. And they, uh, uh, they, there it is right there in the chat room. They think he's a grower. They think he's growing marijuana. They oh. show up. Are and you serious? Yeah, they show up. No one, no knock warrant come in and have to just uh, go through all of his stuff. Actually, I think it's because that turban he wears all the time. <laughs> If you learn to take yeah. that off, the, the turban with the giant yeah. pot leaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and apparently the bomb hit it underneath it. Oh. I'm being, oh, I'm sorry. No, but look at Biden. Oh, See, I, I, I want oh, turbans. Believe, I want to believe that instead of like, I want to believe instead of like a beer, instead of a beer helmet with two beers, he's got a, a turban, turban with, with like two pipes. <laughs> Coming down, yeah, yeah, and he just he just lights both and goes. Sim salabim. If I can, there's something I can help you with, officer. Insensitive. I'm sniffing another Adobe Shop here. Oh my god, that would be an amazing product. I would love to sell that. Uh, All right, so tell us uh, now. You guys usually aren't. I doubt that Leo Laporta probably buy it from him because that's like his new thing to do is buy grow houses. Uh, wait, 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 what is, is this a thing that I haven't heard? He's like looking to buy a house and the house that he's like really dead set on, like, uh, has, is like by all accounts, a former grow house. Oh, oh. shoot. <laughs> That's brilliant. That happened to us like down the road, uh, at our old house and in, in, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say where, but, uh, but, the, but like it, it, it got, uh, auctioned off cause it was like a meth house that got raised. Really? Right? Yeah. Like breaking bad. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden it's fashionable. That's cool. You're probably <laughs> Your property value should have gone up. <laughs> Why did you have a call? Good point. Over I, 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 don't, I don't know. We should have. We should have done it. The chat room. I would really be interested in whether or not what damages a house more, a meth house or a grow house, because I would suspect that it would be a meth house. I was like, no, a grow house. Really? Uh, why? Why is that? Just because of. Uh... The humidity, like the kind oh, like heat. physical damage. Yeah, like, like, like yeah, like physical damage. damage yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, whether you're going to tweak out on meth and start, like, biting fixtures with your teeth, but, like... Some smart ass on here is, like, trying to get th- trying to get all up in me now saying, kids, meth is cool, says Corey. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do, dude. You put that... Hey, let, let me give you a full screenshot here. Look in the camera dude, and feel... Go, which, go for, yeah, which camera right, am I right, there, right there, right there. Look right up there. There you go. Kids, meth is very cool. What's <laughs> the number one show behind it? Get on that stuff now. <laughs> Which would you rather watch, Weeds or Breaking Bad? Breaking Come on. Bad. 
Yes, do you know how many white people want to move next to a meth house now? <laughs> what? It's true. It's uh, do, do you know they're selling? Like you don't know? They're selling. They're selling the actual. Wait, what's that, Justin? Number on how many white people want to move next to a meth house? <laughs> yeah, you, you know they're selling. They're selling the actual house that was that uh, that was Walter White's house in Breaking Bad. You know what? They think there's actually meth being cooked in there. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's why people want to move there. Not because of the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, let's do this. Um, uh, Justin, do we have do we have sponsors for this show? Uh, we certainly do, Brian, including ProXPN. ProXPN, uh, it's a virtual private network. So here's the deal. Everybody, that dude who was at the airport having uh, John Q. Law put his snout all up in his beeswax, not with ProXPN. It's a 512-bit encryption tunnel, works with OpenVPN or PPTP. You choose. Protect yourself against ISP six strikes rules, and internet filtering, and blocked websites. I'm sorry, your intensity. Uh, you, you caused a cascade with your intensity on the fact that you could choose between, I'm sorry, 512 uh, bit encryption. But what are the choices again? Uh, well, I mean, number one, you can make your con- internet connection region free. There's that. Also, ProXPN software for Windows and Mac offers advanced controls, allowing you to select the programs and boards you want to anonymously route through ProXPN servers. And also, here's the deal. ProXPN, everybody was like, oh, there's an app like for Android in the Google Play Store, but it doesn't allow the support of OpenVPN. False. That's a rumor that is false. It does support OpenVPN. Why don't you get all up in there? Dig your face right up into Pro XPN's sweet embrace. World-class customer support. Steve Gibson Security now gave it a great review. Tell you what we're going to do. ProXPN.com slash twit for more information and to sign up. Premium accounts, normally $9.95 a month or $74.95 for an entire year. But we got a special offer. Use the code NSFW and you receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. That's less than 5 bucks a month on the yearly plan. If you're not satisfied, seriously. Then I don't know. Sew a flag and fly it from your car. And, you know who cares? Also, within seven days, if that happens, you can get a full refund from them because they're stand up gentlemen. Go to proxpn.com/twit. Sign up with the code NSFW, and we thank ProXPN for supporting this nonsense. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, okay, so two things. First of all, <clears throat> I'm going to give a little bit of time delay before I explain the. I, we figured out what was confusing and funny to Corey. Uh, but in the meantime, can somebody explain to me what this Photoshop is? That is that somebody me? just pointed. Is that me? <laughs> Definitely a fish. Oh. <laughs> so, a fish. Okay, I'm gonna, why am I in there? <laughs> Hold on. I'd be my teeth on that fish. No. All right, so we've got. Uh... <laughs> all right, That's so. Padre, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Padre SJ. That's a priest with the head of a fish. Uh, there's there's me w- with somebody else's face shoving a tree in my eye. <laughs> Is that you? Did I ask for that? I mean, that's my body. That's not my face. Okay. Uh, Padre Fish J, uh, and and that's definitely Corey. Uh, just photoshopped in the background. Damn, that's a fish. <laughs> I mean, look at I'm looking at it like, damn, that's a big ass fish. <laughs> Like rotten broccoli that you're eating, maybe? Uh, I guess. I okay, I don't get it. Corey does look like, like as if he were a Bill Cosby drawing of Corey. Yeah. 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 Like, hey, just a big fish. <laughs> if, you were, uh, if you were part of uh, 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 Fat Albert's Junkyard Gang. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Whoa. Sorry. Uh, no. Okay. So, uh, uh, by the way, um, uh, a while ago, unrelatedly, <clears throat> uh, you said you choose, and uh, Corey suddenly started laughing. Uh, he didn't know you said you choose. <laughs> By the way, he, I wasn't the only one that started laughing. No, the we invisible were, wife I, started laughing with me because she heard the same thing I did. I thought you were channeling your inner Nazi because it sounded like you just all of a sudden just bursted out with, you Jules! And her and I started laughing, and she even looked at me like, what the hell did he say? You got to think that maybe that I'm point. not the only one! Yeah. No, that's what it says here. Yeah. Listen, you don't understand, man. I yelled at, banned from reading ads. I gotta stick to the copy. So when it tells me EPTP or VPN, you Jews, I read it verbatim. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so real quick, I, I need to take a quick poll because I'm I'm gonna try to seduce my wife stick into watching. Um, what? what? I'm sorry. What? what? Right, hold on. Real quick, quick thing. Okay. 
<laughs> you to end the sentence with you Jews, that is totally fine. That you'd say in common conversation and not have an eye getting blinked. So you just end the sentence with you Jews. Uh, yes. that, that's my challenge right now. Challenge is I got one. Can I take it? All right, all right. You know what? We have somebody who wants to take a bullet. Go for it. I'll take it. Everyone in this room is really cool, especially you Jews. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> Don't tell me. I have to talk my way out of all kinds of situations. <laughs> Uh, well, now, Brian, you go ahead. Corey said a really good example. Oh, <laughs> you go ahead and do it. Don't make Brian do this. Uh, <laughs> Brian, this is why you're not on the show. Because you don't let him do these things. Uh, uh, the franchise. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Everything short Stalling. does the sound of me short circuiting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and like like the you juice has to be like with force. No. Uh, okay. Ah. <clears throat> uh, okay. Look. Damn it! I need liquid refreshment. Uh you three on that cow. I want milk. You three grab those oranges. You juice. <laughs> That's not. No, that's, 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 to uh, try to seduce Bonnie into being irresponsible and running off and seeing Gravity with me tomorrow at the draft house during the middle of the day. Maybe we can get the parents to watch the kid or something because, like, everything I'm hearing is that it's been amazing. Like, I just need you. Have you guys Have you guys all seen Gravity yet? I haven't seen it yet. And I, I... No, I actually made the mistake because I'm on the road all this week, and uh, I made the mistake of trying to talk Ashley to go see it on Saturday. She agreed, and then things wound up getting too busy. We couldn't go see it. And so then I left on the road for a week, and she's like, by the way, don't go see Gravity. So now I have to wait until next weekend to go see it. And then I made the mistake of going on the road with him while he was <laughs> from Gravity. So we're all in the same boat. Uh, all right, Corey, you're the only one who's seen it. Um, you sure you don't mean to watch the kids? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Actually, that'd be that'd be a well, thing. Well, it's just a baby. Yep. Uh, I mean, house. how much trouble can she be? <laughs> okay, so, 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 re real quick. <laughs> well, let me put this in the cabinet right here. She's crying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't hear did, it anymore. Did did you uh, you liked Children of Men, right? I love Children of Men. And oh, and I did you it's like? Same yeah, same director. Children of Men. Mama Tambi. What what uh, what's that, Justin? Who doesn't like Children of Men? People who haven't seen it. I mean, there's there's a shocking number of people. I mean, I I mean, we're in the bubble. I haven't seen it, but like, have you met somebody who's like, yeah, I saw it. Suck ass. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, although I believe in your review, you spent most of the time making fun of uh, of of Clive Owen the entire time for sitting there. I, like, admit, this is my impression of Corey. Like, look at his his ass sitting there, all Clive Owen. I'm so I'm so beautiful. Like, that's all I remember from the review. That's what he was doing. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's but, but but I remember you liked it as well. No, I, I loved it. I loved, it. I loved, I loved that. Beautiful man. What's that? Is Clive Owen considered to be a beautiful man? Maybe not today, but at one time <laughs> in his life, he was a beautiful man. I haven't seen him in a while. He might be a little grizzled now. He That's looks. I don't. He's always had like he's like 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 British like with just nose and ears. He's like all nose and ears and forehead. He's ah, just, I would Justin. argue that he's the sexiest British gets. He's Justin. like real life. James okay, Bond. sure, fine, yeah. <laughs> Justin, oh I got gosh. one word for you. Look at look at that. You're telling yeah, me that's not handsome? That's a handsome ass, that. handsome ass, handsome ass. Well, I don't know, but look at this one though. Handsome man. Yeah, see that's what that's I'm not about. so now, handsome. Now you're looking like, uh, yeah, that's me that's meth Owen right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's Owen, that's meth. There. That's Clive Owen Wilson right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's still kind of good looking for an old but I mean, you know, croupier. I'm talking about Clive Owen from croupier days. I used to date a girl. Maybe, maybe I'm just jealous. I used to date a girl who just loved Clive Owen, man. Mm. It made me mad. I was jealous. Uh, <laughs> Sweetheart, the children of man post every time I saw Bring him up, Corey. Like, would she be like, ooh, that Clive Owen, like, I want him to grab me. 
<laughs> but Clive Bowen was that he was good for back in the day. But today we got we got people like uh, Tatting uh, Channing Tatum, you know. Channing Tatum, Channing yeah. Channing Tatum, yeah. Yep, yep. We got uh, that that boy who's. He, won't like he might be the son of Sloth from the Goonies. How is he like attractive? But a really good-looking son of Sloth from the Goonies. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I got I got new crushes now. Hugh Jackman, I love, uh, 21 Jump Street, but I'm pretty sure he's the son of the hey, Sloth. Okay, so 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 uh, give me give me two things here. First of all, um, uh, Gravity better or uh, worse than Children of Men? Oh, that's a hard one, man. Because they're two very different movies. But yeah. great for their own reasons. The reason why, and people, I should take my own poll right now and really stick it up your ass so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> because I'm trying to tell this guy, which my, what, is this my camera? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to explain That's to my right friend camp. Brian over here, very, somebody that I actually want to wish good things for. I keep telling him to go see Gravity at the IMAX theater. Like the real 70 millimeter I Bob, Bob Bullock IMAX theater. But he's like, it ain't the draft house. Now, I love the Alamo draft house. No, I, I, I always but regret it. You need it. to stop. Do you realize? Do you Listen realize, to me. <clears throat> I real I regret watching the Dark Knight uh, in in IMAX. I should have seen it at the draft house. And Bonnie and I thought that at the time because it's like it felt like a like a freaking uh, museum. I didn't want to. I don't want to see Batman in a museum. I want to see Batman while I'm throwing pizza at the screen I and screaming. Like, I felt like I was in college and I was in my freshman class where there's a million people and we're all like, Shh, You're like this is a very I important movie. It's yeah, got Batman and, in it. You know I what? don't know. It just felt it, 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 it didn't smell sticky. Like, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> theaters are supposed to be kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There it is. Uh, all right, hold on. I let asked me, for it. Let me, just, let me just premiere our new invention here. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he looks confused. What are these people oh, talking course, about? Of course he's confused. He's but I just got to put up two balls. Why wouldn't he be confused? Oh, my I'm God. high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why uh, is that there? Oh, I guess. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's right here. As you said, meth is, meth is cool. Why'd they give me with Bill Cosby mouth? <laughs> you know, you usually get meth mouth. I got Cosby mouth. <laughs> <laughs> listen, if you look at that picture, listen to the sound I make. <laughs> 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 Oh. Wait, say that again, Justin. I said, That's your mouth, dude. Like, you want to fly like a plate right into your head. I didn't, oh. but I don't go around doing this all the time. Uh, you know, give me a. And then. <laughs> do I? No, no. <laughs> hey, man, people are going to do it. <laughs> you I definitely do not. Well, I, you I do want, not. I want. I want you to run downstairs and get, me a, get me a sweater instantly. No, no I'm not putting it on. All right, on the, I'll Cosby out every now and then, but I'm not wearing any Cosby clothes. It's like, it's like Cosbying is the new minstrel show. Where you're like, I won't wear the sweater, sir. I'll have meth. No. I'll get meth mouth before I get Cosby mouth. But if you have a pudding pop, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, I'm with Corey, Brian. You should go see that movie in IMAX because apparently that's like what everybody on the planet is like. This is the movie that you is is meant to be seen on IMAX. It's like Avatar, like that. Yeah. yeah. How many times have I said that now? I mean, uh, like not like the, like in terms of like big critical consensus, very rarely. Well, and, and the other thing is I've heard that, that we should definitely see it like in 3D, which is like who who tells you to watch crap in 3D nowadays? Mm. Even Danny T was saying you have to see it in 3D. Yeah. They don't listen to me, though. Why not? Because I what? just told you to do it. You're like, no. <laughs> if only I could see it in 3D. Yeah, you realize that uh, 3D is like a touchy subject because Bonnie only has one eye. <laughs> and so yeah. she's, she's totally blind in one eye. Well, she's and, got a cool patch, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, man. Well, I've thinking. never seen you in a pirate patch, Bonnie. <laughs> well, it's time to get really? we, should do some, like, we should do some, like, some cosplay. Cosplay. <laughs> well, uh, and then, I... But, <laughs> but but here's the thing is and, and this is the story that broke back? my heart. I don't know if I ever told you about this, but like oh, no. because you grew up uh, like like uh, your eye got cooked in the incubator like 
Well, we don't know what happened. Yeah, whatever. What, so happened. you were always blind in one eye from birth, right? I right. in the incubator when she was 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really blind in one eye? Yeah. I, yes. Is I'm, that why yeah. you keep running into stuff? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I do. All right. Is that why you're not looking at us but looking at the wall right now? <laughs> Bonnie, over here. Bonnie, listen to my claps. I'm like the dog walking in circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but the, sto- the story that broke my heart was that was that you your mom when you were in second grade took you to go see a 3D movie. It was Jaws. I think. Jaws 3D. Yeah. Which, it's like that's that alone breaks my heart. <laughs> but then but then but then. But then the fact that, that you you and your mom are like, well, I don't know how to make it work. Maybe fold the two lenses over yeah. and hold it up. And like this Aww. this trying to make 3D work when like you don't have the equipment <laughs> built in. Is that why you – now, just, why don't you just say it? What, That's what? why you go to the Alamo. It's not because – <clears throat> not because you oh no, I, I make her go to 3D movies all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I thought, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, no, I want to see this. I thought it was like an after school special yeah, where you didn't want to tell him you were blind. <laughs> and you're like, can we not go see that 3D movie? I know, I, really, I know of a really cool theater we can go to. And then you just hit that, that really dramatic moment <laughs> where she just gets up in the middle of the, of the movie. They're like, I'm blind. I'm like, <laughs> And she runs up, Bonnie, Bonnie, wait. I'm sorry, no. I didn't know. I didn't, and I'm going to finish watching this And movie. I get hit by a car because I thought it was a lot further away than it really was because I don't have depth perception. Oh, no. <laughs> they play that music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so the, po- the point is now, now, okay, so already the whole world has told me to go see it in IMAX. Justin's on the side of go see it in IMAX. What about the right. 3D side of things? Should we see it in 3D? Oh, Captain Morgan <laughs> wanted me. <laughs> That's that body body well, puts uh, on an eye patch and she's like, oh hoy, Brian. <laughs> I don't know about old Popeye over here, <laughs> but uh, you tell me. <laughs> So that's a, that's a maybe then, huh? Yeah. I, you know what? If she can watch it, then yes, I'd say yeah. go see it in 3D. You know, the, uh, luckily, they've made it a lot easier to watch 3D movies. But back in the day, it was either red or blue. And oh. it really <laughs> sucked. Mm. <laughs> so, so uh, all right. So let's do this. Uh, Justin, Do we? how many sponsors do we have? Uh, two more. Okay. Well, let's 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 take one break right now. And then we'll uh, and then we'll plow forward here. Uh, by break. the way. This is, uh, you, you know how excited I am. We, we, it's the return of the movie draft. We, we got to talk about the movie draft here since we have Corey here as well. So we do. I like the sponsors this episode because it's the only time I can talk. <laughs> Aww, oh, sorry. Dude, I'm telling yeah. you. You know, I'm, I'm on the is where you can talk on the phone because it's a no BS mobile service. It's an MVNO of the nationwide Sprint Network. No contracts or ETFs, truly and completely contract free. No early termination feeds or other BS. And here's the deal. There's a new ETF relief program. You're paying an ETF to come to Ting. Tell you what, they got your back. They're going to pull a knife on who's ever trying to charge you, and they're going to make sure that you are made whole. Ting's going to give you credit for 25% off your ETF, up to $75 per device. Simply purchase your device through Ting, port your number, then submit your final bill, with your ETF detailed from your previous carrier, go to ting.com slash ETF for more information. Why else you want to do it? No add-on charges, no mysterious line items on your bill, unlimited devices on one plan, and much, much more. Here's the deal. You go on to Ting, make your first purchase of a mobile device, and you'll receive it within two to five business days. Then you activate your device with Ting and have the option to select a new phone number or port an existing one. Ting will break your rate up by minutes, text messages, and megabytes and bill you at the end of the month for what you've used. Go to nsfw.ting.com, save money, and better manage your mobile phone usage with Ting. Check out their savings calculator and see how much you or your company can save. NSFW viewers can also save $25 off your first Ting device when you sign up. Go to nsfw.ting.com. Start saving today. Dude, uh, I'll tell you what, Justin. I mean, that's no BS. Like, it, it's rough. Uh, number one, it's rough to be at the bottom of the sky pole, as, as we think of it. And I, I feel like we're a little bit spoiled lately in that 
you know, we set up the two Skype s- connection so that uh, even when I'm, you know, remote here in studio, we're able to interrupt each other or whatever. But it's hard as hell to, especially on a po- comedy podcast, figure out those moments, even when you have a zinger, to make it heard at that moment. Well, yeah, it's also hard when there's like, like everybody's like in such close proximity and like it's hard because you guys, I mean, that's like you guys were having this show before the show began, right? Like you guys were all hanging out. Uh, and yeah, then, yeah. Well, we had just we had just I, sat down I, when I turned on, right? You know, correct. You guys have been friends forever, so it's like <clears throat> it's hard to kind of break into that. Well, let's 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 Skype barrier. Let's break up the dynamic here for a second, and and uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing out at this particular gig, or what what are you up to these days, man? <laughs> That's really boring. No, 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 no. The entirety of the world. That's not the most boring element of it, which is why we're in Birmingham, Alabama. It's for a go game. We have a job where we do scavenger. <laughs> I know. Okay. okay. Well, 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 here's here's what I'm hoping. Here's what I'm hoping for. Maybe this is a fantasy and it's not going to happen. But I'm, what I'm hoping for is like you guys live together for a while. You know, Brett, of course, is the reason that you're at the go game right now. I'm guessing. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen you guys out at a gig together. I don't know if it's something you guys do all the time or if this is a particularly interesting or awesome gig, but I was hoping to... to uh, I, I only asked because I was suspecting, like, for me, it's awesome to reconnect with people when I'm on the road, like, on a gig because, like, uh, you're like ships passing in the night at all, all times. And then to actually find yourself in the same city at the same time working on a gig toge- together is awesome. I did spit half a beer all over a bartender tonight. Yeah. That was, that was an exciting moment. I'm that, sorry. Is that, that was pretty fun. Yeah. So there's this bar in the hotel that uh, has the thing. They have little uh, timers on the bar. Little, yeah, like, like mounted on there. Like, like mounted every three feet. Uh, like hourglasses, right? And when you flip it, it counts for seven seconds. And so you can get any beer under $5 on their menu, a pint. And if you chug it in the seven seconds, it's free. Oh my god! You pay yeah. for it. Okay, now, okay, now we we have we have our friend. Uh, by the way, Corey, we got a friend, um, Ali Spagnola, who does a power hour drinking game, where basically she gets online or she gets on stage, does sixty one minute long songs. At the end of each song, you do a shot of beer, and by the end, you've done a power hour. You drank like six six full Ooh. pints, right? Uh, that thing, uh, as best I can tell, is a liability nightmare. Um, <laughs> but but like she never says what particular drink you have to drink. And how much the fact well, that they're saying to do it like, I mean, she's just yeah. saying that this is a thing that one could do. It's based on this game. You can play along, but that's your thing. Right. 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 So that's so, the loophole. So what, what, but like, she's <laughs> yeah. already playing it safe on this, but <laughs> she's never have a gun. It was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's always, you could put a ringer out there to save her. Cause one guy could be out there and say, well, I just drink water all night. She didn't say I had to drink yeah. beer. Well, well, sure, sure, sure. Like she plays it safe, but you're telling me that this bar, a, 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 and this is the thing. Like, like there are certain sure. establishments. Yeah, attached to a Weston. Yeah, and it's like Todd English, who apparently is like a chef person or like one of those Food Network people. Well, uh, who it's like his bar, and there's only like one in Birmingham and one in Vegas. Because because that's this is what I don't get. Like there are venues. Like she was banned from venues because her her concert involved like drinking yes. as part of a uh, part of it. <laughs> like like she she, uh, she yeah she was like not allowed. You're like you're like don't come in our bar, lady. Uh, but the, you're telling me that there's a bar built on the idea of like please chug this alcohol drink no it's not like it's not like based on it it's like, no i mean it's mostly based on the like table kegs that you can rent by yes. the hour <laughs> wait is that a thing it's a completely different proximity irresponsible to yeah like, <laughs> a, a table keg oh it sounded like you said table kegs is that really a thing <laughs> it's like table wine is that and really? Have you not seen that? So no. it's like literally, you rent a table by the hour. You just say like, "Here's two hundred dollars," and me and my like ten friends are gonna sit at this table and pour beers yeah. all night long. Oh, so now, instead of bottle service, you get keg service. You just walk up. No, no, no like you, the keg is built into the table, and you just you just draw your own the whole time. Come mind, guys. I can't believe you haven't heard of this before. Um, <laughs> I, how did oh. I? <laughs> well, us yokels here in Austin, <laughs> we never experienced nothing like that. Well, golly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the city of lights. I'll tell you what, you boys need to make it out here to the big city. <laughs> Holy cow! I can't believe I'm 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 so dumb. Uh, uh, all right, well that's awesome. They have them in San Francisco though. Next time you're out here, <laughs> table. 
It'll That's, be here soon enough. Give it time. Austin yeah. wants to be like everything else. Yeah. Okay. Are you are you bummed about that? Do you feel like Austin's getting all Americanaed out? I, you know what? I keep going to more bars where they're trying to do this bottle service stuff. What's bottle service? Exactly. See? <laughs> oh. Wow. I didn't know that was. You a... really didn't know what bottle? You don't no, know what bottle service? No. No. I don't know what bottle service oh, is. You really aren't a fancy lad, are you? No. Bottle <laughs> <laughs> They can explain to you. You guys know what bottle service is, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Listen, so number can... one, I'm from, I'm from South Florida. Yeah. Bottle service is something that they illustrate to you in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Austin is trying to be like LA and Miami and all that kind of stuff. They say, hey, let me see your shoes. Let me see your shirt. Let me see what girl you're with. And when you come in, if that's not good enough, after you've gone through all that nonsense, oh, you can't sit down unless you want to pay $200 for this cheap bottle of vodka. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, okay, the whole thing is dressing. Like, it's it's a fake reason to, uh, it's like, it's... That's part of it. I mean, like, because the idea is they are setting a level of ambiance that people want to be in. So, like, whenever you walk into the club, it is the club from Entourage, as opposed to just whatever random people would walk into the club that night. And then on top of that, they don't just want you to order drinks. Like, you know, the other one just order three vodka cranberries. They want you to buy a bottle of vodka and then give you they give you mixers that you yeah. mix your own drinks. They do it around the world. I just got back from Turkey. They do it there. Wait, what were you doing in Turkey? Buying a bottle of vodka. No, but yeah, you know, I definitely felt like everything was like everybody, including the chat room, was in on it until this moment. I'm like, oh. Hey, well, you know what? Uh-huh. Now listen, they try to do this in Austin now. That place that got bottle service. I even got back from a club where they have a swimming pool up on the roof. You remember where Katz's Deli used to be? Oh yeah, yeah, where, where uh, top of the market. Where you yeah. know that jewel. Uh, the- <laughs> Katz was. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but it's a reference to something earlier. It was it, I'm not it, being racist. It, you, or am you, I? Jews, you, you Jews. Jews. I'm sorry. You, was, choose. Oh, you Jews. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, you, you choose. You, you choose. 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 You and they said, you know, we got to look at your shoes before you come in here. This check Two- people's shoes things. Like someone built a rubric of like what is allowed for shoes. Yes. Like- yeah. We got you. We don't want, we don't want ghetto shoes or shoes that indicate you might. And they walk shoes. in and they always look you in the eye. You're like, you shoes. Yeah, you shoes. <laughs> You shoes out in Z. But then they, but then, you know, way two, too high. two weeks later, with this whole shoe and shark thing, two weeks later, people wearing flip flops in the club. And the sharks are dead in the water. Seriously. Oh yeah. And the, and the, the, the sharks are dead because. All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just told a story. That yeah, had... wait, this is like a Dave Eggers story. <laughs> like all of a sudden, it's like flip flops in the club, and the sharks are dead in the water. <laughs> I, I that, that's what I. Yeah, that's like, a party. I, <laughs> I'm confused. Like, was the moral of this story like I should have worn nice shoes, <laughs> no. or, or those sharks would be alive? <laughs> Listen to me, Brian. I'm listening, sir. You're not listening. I'm... That's that's why you're hard headed That's why you won't see gravity in a good way. <laughs> God damn it. Now, the, no, the thing is, is that this is not the but town for that. Listen, you Jews. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> listen, you Jew. Now, the thing is, is that is that you this is the first. town where we wear we wear like sandals and flip flops to a five star restaurant. And you sound like you're you're on a street corner preaching. Oh, we wear sandals to buy fancy restaurants. This is Austin, my brothers. Am I not correct? Now you know what I do on Friday night. All right, go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Put your flip flops back on. <laughs> Don't bring your nice shoes around here. This is Austin. I, Leave I, your sharks in the ocean. <laughs> Don't put them in the dance floor. <laughs> Pause this podcast and rewind <laughs> two minutes to see Preacher as defined by Brian and as defined by Corey. <laughs> Do your Preacher again. I Do will not, it. sir. Uh, <laughs> and the Lord said. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> drink your pumpkin meal. It's made from real pumpkins. 
<laughs> Bonnie <laughs> thought it was fake. <laughs> so okay, so what am I even talking about? Uh, are, no, no, oh. you're talking about like uh, yeah, keep your sharks in the ocean, not on the dance floor. Wait, 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 wait. No, the whole thing was that they, they try. They, see, they, we were talking about bottle service. Yes, they're trying to bring bottle service here. They're trying to do the velvet rope thing with clubs and stuff, and. Those clubs just aren't doing that great. They handle the liquor and they die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The sharks, you get in there, the sharks say, That's my booth, punk. And they take your beer, they take your vodka, and they obviously die of alcohol poisoning. So, okay, so, so your mm. point is, is do you, uh, like, like I She's like, mm, like, she believe, like, mm, that's I deep. <laughs> Amen. So, <laughs> but, uh, all right, so my whole thing, like, I thought, I thought Lord that me. Austin had been uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I thought Austin had been weathering the growth rather well, but it doesn't sound like you're happy with, mm, with it. Well, yeah. they've been doing this for a while. I'm just saying it's the town is just it's, it's not big. ready for that. I mean, we got the condos. We got the snotty girls. It's who all thinks, the Californians really, coming in. It is. Yeah, it's like it is. literally not ready for it, though. I mean, it doesn't matter. If they <laughs> try it, like, yeah, it doesn't matter if they try it and fail. Well, when you have your club in a bar, you can't have no bottle service because you don't have tables. You just get, well, you said we're not ready for it. So oh, got it. No, I, I mean that's true. We're not though. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, let, let me let me ask you guys. So what is so Brian? You think that it's everything's hunky dory? Austin's still weird, and and it ain't nothing that a bunch of random newcomers can do to say about it. I mean, I was thinking that, but now uh, I mean, but this is a whole world but that we I'm haven't not exactly a part been of. going. Yeah, you can I mean, tell you guys are family people. What, well, yeah, yeah, because the things I the, the things I care about is like you know uh, you know if Alamo Draft House still gives good service. Uh, the the uh, uh, Barton Springs is as red as it ever was. The trails are still awesome, yeah. you know. Uh, you know, and there's you know like five bars I go to, and and to be honest, I'm thrilled that they're quieter now because you know uh, I can hear other people. But but it's like you know I don't know I, I I always thought that for the and plus you know I feel relatively safe walking around downtown. You know, still it's safe. Like, yeah, I'm t- yeah. I'm mainly talking about the club scene. <laughs> See, this no, is you might as well say scene, Corey. Like like what was was the halcyon days of the Austin club circuit that are gone? What I'm sorry? What what are the halcyon days of hmm. the Austin club scene? Like what what is it you want to go back to? I mean, Describe to us this paradise uh, that used to be. Uh well, let's see. Uh I w- I would like to stop getting kicked out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a thing? Did you get kicked out of a club? And then we, there used to be a day when there was this thing called tolerance. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Tolerance of what? Alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are clearly There not used ready to be for... a day when I could go into a bar, hit on a guy's girlfriend, <laughs> get into a fight, <laughs> you know, get kicked out, and they would actually let me back in the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so are you like legit banned from some places now? About three places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a day, you know, the next day they'd be like, hey, it's cool. You good now? Okay, come on back in. Rinse and repeat. Now it takes about, you know, four days to let that happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is the best of the three stories on why you're kicked out? Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I will say this much, and I've told this story to other audiences, but I have not told it here. And it didn't not, and, it, and I'm, I haven't been kicked out of bars. I have not. I've, I've, this isn't the story about the girlfriend that dumped you when I took you to my parents' place, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, oh, who ride. can forget? Yeah. It's, all right, keep going. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm actually the opposite of getting kicked out of bars. I have done foul things in bars. I've taken my shirt off and walked around the place. <laughs> I've, I've creeped women out. And I'm not kidding about this. I've creeped women out. I have, I, I've been bad, and the worst thing that I've ever done is I was at a strip joint in New Orleans, and I remember getting mad that I had to actually spend that much money on alcohol, and, I, and, and so I was so drunk at the time that the way things work in New Orleans is that there's a girl who's on a pole, and you're around her, and you just throw your dollars down. Now, I said, you don't, you don't stuff it in a pants. You can, but you can just throw dollars down if you're stupid. Yeah. So I just... I was looking at that and I was thinking. You just started picking up other people's I was, dollars. I act like I had. I would take out a dollar. I would reach out like I was throwing it down. I'd be like, throw one dollar down. Come back one, two, three, four dollars. You know. Oh. <laughs> you were you were stealing from the stripper. And this is after they told me. This is after a guy came over and told me twice, sir. I'm not gonna ask you again. Settle down. He didn't know I was stealing money. I was just, I was just going crazy. I was just losing it. I was like ah. ah! And he was just like, sir. You're going to have to settle down. I should get kicked out of bars, well, but I don't. 
Uh, let, let me also explain something to people about New Orleans. Number one, New Orleans is a lawless city. It is a city <laughs> of laws, and it retains that spirit to this day. Number two, in like South Florida, they have a lot of strip clubs. In New Orleans, strip clubs are the second tier to clubs where people bang each other in front of you. <laughs> like they have oh, like, yeah. public sex clubs in New Orleans. So like the fact that you could get kicked out of that place is amazing. <laughs> and Martin will tell you, Martin was Martin there. Martin was there. Because oh. Martin was like, F- I'm going to die. I'm no! Justin, like, uh, like uh, on our show, apparently cursing is like the uh, the Pee Wee's Playhouse equivalent of of the secret, secret word, word of the day. Yeah. We scream real loud. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, um, I, I love how many. Of, belt. I love. I love. Belt. I love so many of uh, the the stories that involve Martin because Martin is the Frylock of the spill community, right? He's the <laughs> yes. one grown up in the whole affair. Yes. Yes, pretty much. All right, moving right along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? Uh, hey, uh, you want to take a moment to thank a sponsor, Justin? Uh, yes, Brian. I would like to thank Shutterstock. Here's the deal. You want to take your <laughs> new media project to the next level, why don't you head on over to Shutterstock? They got over a million high-quality video clips alone. All right, let's not even get in to the, to, to the pictures there. Here's the deal. Shutterstock, you find the perfect image or video for your next creative project. Whether it's a website, publication, advertisement, a video, or another type of project, you can find uh, over a million high-quality stock video clips. That's 2D, 3D animation, and motion graphics. Meanwhile, (laughs) Shutterstock sources sources its video clips from around the world and puts them at your fingertips. Many contributors to Shutterstock are professional filmmakers and animators, so you know you're getting top-notch work. They also got flexible pricing. So, at the end of the day, they're going to be paying an arm and a leg. They're going to be flexible on the price, okay? Try Shutterstock by signing up for a free account. No credit card needed. Start an account. Begin using Shutterstock to help imagine what your next project could be like. And save video selections you find in your clip box. Once you decide <laughs> to purchase, use offer code NSFW1013. All right? This ain't like the other Twit codes. It is NSFW1013. New accounts will receive 25% off any package. That's Shutterstock.com 25% off new accounts. Use offer code NSFW1013 and we would like to thank Shutterstock for sponsoring a show that includes such inanity. Mm, yes. Wait, 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 did you say insanity or inanity? Inanity. Inanity. Just inane, just forgettable nonsense, right? Yeah. That was the original title we have for the show. Forgettable nonsense with Bri, Bri and the Gerbs. Uh, hey, uh, I went and saw, I went and saw Harmontown live with Brant Hughes because I've been trying to get you to listen to Harmontown for a long time, right? Did you yes. ever, did you ever listen to it, Justin? No. Okay, great. Um, it was it was really weird to for the first time, um, and I and I sort of deconstructed Brant. Like Brant's a crazy fan of Harmontown of Dan Harmon stuff. Uh, like I still haven't I still haven't watched Community, um, but. It was wild to go from like I've listened to like twenty or thirty episodes audio version and to go there and see all of a sudden like I had no idea who was who. You just had to use like context clues, like that guy's got a crazy beard. Um, you know, I'm <laughs> and, and he's standing near Dan Harmon. So I assume that's the guy who they keep saying has a crazy beard, that's Spencer. Uh and and at a meta level, it was kind of rad because I realized that at some level that was the experience that everyone who came out and saw us at Dragon Con had. And I guess I guess what I'm what I'm getting at is uh, is there an analogous experience for you? Like I was really struck by the difference. Like in that moment, I was a content consumer completely, and I was just utterly giddy. Even though you know we ostensibly do a, a comedy, I'm using air quotes, a comedy <laughs> podcast. Uh, uh, to to be just a consumer having that experience was really trippy for me. And, and as Brant nailed it, he said it was very surreal. Have you had that experience for yourself? Like, like, of, uh, especially like in the last couple of three years since we've started doing the show. 
I mean, it's hard to say because, uh, like, the entire concept of us doing things, like like me working with Twit or working with Tom Merritt or being on Twit with Molly Wood or something like that, or, like, doing the NSFW show at DragonCon with Veronica Belmont, like, they, these are all people for whom I have done nothing but consume their content before, and, like, that was my, like, my relationship with them was listening to the stuff that they did. So, like, I'm kind of perpetually in that. Like, I'm just always amazed that the people that I listen to in any way want to talk to me. So yeah, Tom Merritt still keeps making me send him money every month. <laughs> are, you st- are you still living in his place? How do you like it? It's great. It's I, I thought a- you guys were talking about moving out. Uh, we're definitely looking around for a place, but, I mean, it's a sweet gig. We're not going to move until we have to. Wish they'd hurry up so I can rent the goddamn place and just get another room. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, shoot. Is that your plan? Is as soon as they move out, you're going to move back in? It's been my plan for a year. I just <laughs> <laughs> running around their house acting like it's haunted, hoping that they'll eventually move out. Right, so, so, so let me let me kick this over to Corey then. Corey, like you, uh, obviously, you guys create uh, the uh, ostensibly spill is about movie reviews, but really it's about the comedy and the bi- you know the the interplay that you guys have. Yes, it's, you know. exactly. Do you find yourself starstruck? Like, how do you draw that line? Because there's sometimes I'm sure you have an interview with a prominent um, a prominent guest, and and you just want to use them to get this moment or create that magic so that you'll you know make some make a really good episode. But there is there any time that you get and you just you just you, you lose it? You're like you're really great. No. Screw you. <laughs> Brian right. was really hoping that you would feel that way about him. Oh, right about- <laughs> well, if you- He's just so sad. Oh, yeah, well, if you oh, had oh. shut up, Bonnie, I was going to say, <laughs> except about you. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe I'm the only one. Like, like I went like... Um, uh, so, it- but what was your... Like, like, did it make you feel better about what you do? or Or did it, like, affect how you were watching it? Like, was it better watching it live in person with video or worse? It's, like, uh, well, for, first of all, like I do not want to get into a wiener measuring contest with Dan freaking Harmon of community fame. Like that guy has won at life in all the ways that matters. Uh, but I, but I, but I couldn't help but notice and granted it's a different situation. You know, the, the, the nerdist theater at the nerd mail comics, you know, it's a small venue. Um, but there was like maybe people uh, like 35, like 35 people. And it's like, I, I couldn't help but think, uh, you, you know, smell the harmon. Well, well oh, sh- sure, sure. And it was cool being like, like up close. But of course, the only thing I have to compare it to is, is our unfair, ridiculous, you know, Dragon Con experience, which is like, a, you know, our Super Bowl. Um, but it's like it makes me think like, man, I wonder, could we fill like a 40, 50 seat venue every week? like that uh with with uh, there's so many times i just wish that all of that you guys just lived in austin but you can yeah i can you can do that i can i can wish that you can feel that i can feel that okay well i do <laughs> you think i'm being dirty but see i'm trying no, to be serious no here. i know you're you telling me i can me. believe no you thought that what they thought that phrase was gonna be followed by a hole or no booty or something like that maybe you know? maybe you and i can make a show here in austin <laughs> To fill the empty void of, of since there's no Justin and I Brett would, here in Austin. You, hey, man, I've told you for years. All you got to do is call me. Yeah, okay, but I never know what you mean by that. I mean, it's like, I don't know if that means like to... You're going to call him and then you're going to get yeah. a... I'm talking to his wife right now. Brian you, never you under- calls me either. I haven't heard from him for a week. <laughs> but so, you understood I mean, what I was talking I, yeah. about, right? You did, okay. <laughs> right. I'll play coy with you. All right, I'll be stupid. Fine. All right, fine. You know, yeah, man, I would do, of course, if you ask me to do something here with you, I don't bug people. That's the thing. I don't like to bother people. But if you ever ask me to do something, and I mean this, and what the hell is that picture? <laughs> God over damn there? it. I was oh, hoping you wouldn't no. notice it. What um, is that? <laughs> I believe it. it <laughs> <laughs> And why is my mouth being all twisted around? <laughs> it looks, why do it I looks, look like a fat Alba character? <laughs> it looks like Corey uh, doing his Cosby face uh, with some meth equipment. Uh, <laughs> I'm banging on pots in my head. Like, complete like with blue board. meth, if you look. There's blue meth, oh, I see this blue uh, meth. photoshopped okay. onto uh, okay. Bill Cosby's body. I see. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, no, okay, but here's here's what I was just getting at. Is I was I was really struck... Um, it was just it was just a weird twist to go from being the um, 
uh, you know, the the perform because you know you get in the headspace when you're performing. And you're just kind of on. Everything goes away. You're constantly looking for the next joke or opportunity. But it was just really cool to to be a consumer, to to be a fan on the other side, and it it made me appreciate you know our what fans. What was different? Because it's not like you don't listen to other podcasts. Like you listen to podcasts. Well, seeing it live was. I, I mean, it's um. Uh, okay. Like, what was different being there personal? So so here's the difference is is when I went and saw Twit live, I knew I was angling to get on Twit and to be part of, you know, I, I knew that it was a possibility, or I guess the first time I went is because I was definitely going to be on Twit. But, you know, so so I was still playing the game. I was still in content producer mode. So it's like I'm still in awe. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm at the cottage. That, that really is Leo Laporte. Oh, he liked my card trick. Oh, he's eating fire. This is amazing. But at some level, you're still thinking in terms of, like, I'm creating content. Um, this was none of that. There was no chance I was going to end up on stage than listening to a show than being there. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Not necessarily other times where you've been near people performing, but like, why was it different as a straight consumer when you're driving compared to being there? I I honestly don't. Uh, here's what uh, the big. I I don't know why it is, but I'll tell you the biggest thing I noticed was that um, when uh, when you're listening to a podcast, and it, and this gave us insight because uh, Harmontown suffers the same, you know, bizarre malady that NSFW does where it's like when it's electric, part of the reason it's, it's part of the reason it's electric is because, uh, the, the reality of the moment between us, but then also, you know, you and I are prone to go on sideways jags where we sort of pause. We're like, well, that was awkward. And you know, well, you're awkward. Your face is awkward. Well, your beard is awkward. Uh, and then like Harmontown does that as well. And, and there was a little bit of that in this episode. Um, and it was like, when you listen while you're riding your bike or whatever, you're like, oh, this is kind of weird sideways jag where they're getting real. But like when you're there in studio, you're like, oh, man, this is really real. And all of a sudden it felt like the weird moments where stuff got too real for us on the show. And, all, and I had a lot of em empathy for that. I don't know if that answered your question or not. So it was just it was more of a visceral experience. Well, it was, yeah, it was just very real. It felt it felt, um, you know, I don't know. The funny parts were certainly like I laughed so long. Oh, go ahead. That drove in the idea that like you are consuming this versus like someone like like you didn't feel like you could get up next and do another show. Oh no way! No no no! This was their space and they owned it and and it was like I was I was all in. Um, you know, and I laughed at times hard enough that you know that like I teared up and had to pee or whatever. But uh, I don't know. It was uh, it was it was it was an interesting experience. But I guess I'm the only one who has had it because nobody else knows what I'm talking about. So that's fine. Well, I don't know how many other people have just seen other. I mean, like, yeah. Corey, could would, would you have an, an analogous situation where like you've seen other people do what you do, like in terms of performing movie criticism or anything? Like, have you seen another live podcast or? Yeah, yeah, and I'm being serious right here, you guys. I mean, <laughs> wow. No, I'm being serious. I sit down and I see how you got to understand for a long time, and Brian can tell you, I've come from a very, very messy organization, and then. I'm kind of like just almost one person trying to do a lot of stuff. I look at Brian, I look at what you guys do and the setup you have and how you know how to actually work an audience in the sense that you know how to work an audience for your business. You know how to actually call people out there, make them a part of your show, actually have them come in. And 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 when I mean when I say be a part of the show, you 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 have them like submit you things. You have people like uh come in and participate. At the same time you have sponsors and all that kind of stuff. And you're running this like a like a business should be run. It looks like to me, and I admire that. Well, and <clears throat> I don't know. It goes like for everybody. The, 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 but, but, I mean, yeah. Speaking of business, Brian, did you see what the first check for ruin them is going to be? No, I have no idea. Two billion dollars. Not bad. All right, I'm excited. <laughs> Woo, ruin them! But I've always looked at what you do, Brian. And I've always thought like this is a guy who. Ruin them. dot com of course available <laughs> right now. <It's> <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, I'm excited for people who uh, who like it. Um, oh, dude, they're begging us to tell us. I, but it's, I don't care. Do you care? I I don't care. Uh, now, yeah, keep keep in mind, like, um, you know, our uh, whatever number Justin's about to lay on me. Uh, the 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 purpose of the Ruinum experiment was always less about us making money. I mean, if we could make a few bucks and make people happy and pull off a fun little side jag prank and maybe make a good tasting beverage, then that's a win for everything. But like, what are we looking at, Justin? Uh, we are each going to get a check for thirty nine hundred. Holy crap! Wow, that's that's a lot bigger. Oh, <laughs> Thought y'all making real money. <laughs> I take back everything I just said. 
<laughs> Y'all ain't nothing. <laughs> uh, well, that's good, man. That's uh, that's awesome, uh, wow. dude. I I uh, that's a that's a relief. Sure, because now all of a sudden I'm feeling like like that's not what it is. But I think that's I'm pretty sure that's what we that we were we needed to make sure that we gave the lady our our addresses. To make sure that we got now, are you sure that's not the? T- I I would believe that's the total amount. I was predicting we would get like eighteen hundred a piece or eighteen fifty or so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 what? All right, maybe yet. Yeah, I guess like yeah, it's probably he's yeah. saying the check. Oh yeah, so yeah. That's one. Cut so you probably said the whole amount. Yeah, because yeah. that would be a lot more than I figured. Yeah, oh. that's what we thought. But so still, like, damn near pretty... two thousand each. Yeah. No, that'll be good. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. If you guys enjoyed Ruin Them, then feel free to pick it up. Ruin Them dot com. Uh, that's <laughs> a lot of fun for us. So, did you ever tell everybody my my parents review? Like, oh <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Bonnie. Okay, this. so Bonnie's parents. Um, <laughs> man, how can I put this delicately? Uh, Bonnie's parents live in a trailer park. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by choice oh, mind oh. you <laughs> okay no they, they actually had they had a like meth a, lab they had yeah. like a, a 3900 square foot house down south but they've really gotten into uh doing the rv experiment so they got a really nice rv and they go to uh, they go to rv parks everywhere uh but but their favorite one which is about 30 minutes away from us uh you know has the best attraction our children. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's why they keep coming back, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so they hosted a wine tasting party. The, the child, the brush with children, get chained to a pole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. and we have we pay Corey to bark and be all like, "Look at these white children!" <laughs> oh, I thought you meant to actually bark. <laughs> no. <laughs> can I can I tell you something real quick? Speaking of bark. Yes. Yes. And I tell you this because this is at your house. Okay. All right. I can oh. actually do a pretty good bark. Can you? So there was this. You have your your where's mother. The, where's this at? Your mother has this little dog, right? <laughs> All right, yeah. And so there was this woman standing there. I don't know why I did it, but I went up behind her and I said, <laughs> And the woman turned around. She's like, Did that big sound come out of you? Did that big sound come out of you? And that dog's looking like, Who the hell are you talking to, lady? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> now, why I did this? I, did that. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I just said randomly. I just go to like places where there's a lot of people. And I just like stand out there and I'm like, <laughs> That's like, amazing. The dog? Yeah. And so she was looking down at an invisible dog. No, there was a dog there. It was a oh. little dog. That's why I did it because there yeah. was a little dog there. But she looked at the dog. The it's dog. Such a, it's such yeah. a Corey thing to do. Yeah, uh, I'm stupid, really. All right, all right so wait. So we were about to talk about something, and then we went on a side jack. Oh, the review the for story. the wine yeah. test tasting. Trailer park and kidnap your kids. Yeah. Yes. All right. So 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 t- uh, walk us through, Bonnie. So uh, so we send them down. I was like, oh, you know, they've been hearing about it, and they're like, oh, we like wine. Okay. So I said, <laughs> you know, was, that's an impression of my dad, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we send a we, we send a bottle down. I'm like, oh, y'all try it out. <laughs> and so they share it with their buddies, and then it's like, well. We all thought it was really strong, and <laughs> one person said she'd drink it again. <laughs> and, and Brian's reaction was like, much like an SFW show itself. You know? <laughs> so I've gotten to a point with the NSFW show, ruin them, literally like everything associated with the show. The albums, like where people are like, I meet people and they're like, oh, that's nice. You do a podcast? That's crazy. Like, what's the name? I'm just like, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't really want to know. You like me. I'm having a fun conversation. You want to be interested in the fact that this is a thing I do. You're not going to like the show. And if you really like it, you can look it up. Yeah, like, it's not going to tell you the name of the show. Because it's just embarrassing for us to pretend that you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> I think he, I think you got to take it one step forward and say, and they say, oh, what's the name of it? You say, give me a dollar and I'll tell you. Because <laughs> if they're invested in it, if they give you a dollar, maybe they're going to really make the effort. To, like, That's you amazing. Know. <laughs> yeah. Split the difference. Because my next plan was for me to say, open your mouth. And then I spit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I'm actually down with that. I kind of like this idea. Like oh, anyone sorry. who wants to recommend the show to somebody else, don't actually do so unless they give you money. Just say, just say, I'll tell you. you just be a dollar. I'm down with that. I'm okay Wait, with it. Make them buy you a bottle of Rundum. <laughs> what is Rundum? Ru- oh, you don't know Rundum? Oh, we, 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 we made up a. We made up a. a, a Rundum.com available right now. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right. So yes. here's the thing. We uh, uh, we Ruin got approached them. by a uh, vintner. A uh, guy who does uh, wine cocktails, the same guy who did um, 
uh, Adam Carolla's uh, Mangria. You can get now shipping on there instead of pre-order and scheduled to ship two months ago. Uh, yeah, sure. We really should. You're right. But but you can. I would I would kiss them if they changed that. Uh, yeah, that's that's Who's a John there? thing. John John's on his way out, man. His head's not in the game. <laughs> John's already Wait. looking at his next gig. Oh did, did, oh shoot! Did I tell you about that? They called me to interview me. Does uh, he have another gig? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if he got the other gig yet, but oh, we don't know. I know he flew to a very remote location <laughs> 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 to, uh, to, 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 uh, interview for a job. And then they called and I was just like, uh, I'm like, ah, so you're the asshole stealing the prize, huh? And, and keep in mind, this is a state institution. <laughs> Did you say that? Did you say those words? No. Oh, come on. Maybe. Always, uh, but but it was like it was like they're all like uh, they're all like you know I was like look here's the thing here's what John's done here's why he's amazing here's you know all the things that 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 make him utterly remarkable and I will owe him a life debt from now on and they're like okay well we've got a um we got a list of things that we got to ask and you got to give us answers on a scale of one to five and I was like fine whatever and it's like and I found myself as I go through like I'm having to make up stuff like uh like uh because i don't want to just say five to everything because i don't want the, to invalidate it so instead and so instead they're all like um uh like uh how about his ability to communicate or 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 something like that and i was like uh crumble under pressure like cheeses they they didn't they didn't ask that one and i kept waiting for that and and, and in fact i actually interjected i was like okay Here's the one thing he's not good at is if you're like trying to set world records on a show <laughs> that's distributed all over the world and thousands of people are watching live, don't expect him to pull it off there. <laughs> <laughs> but expect the results to be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what it was. So there's that. Uh, anyway, like I, I'm really excited for him and his next gig. I haven't seen him in like a week, so I'll see him tomorrow probably. Yeah, I just remember to mail his uh, Kelsey left a, a book at the in the room at DragonCon. I gotta mail that back to them. Kelsey was like a real surprise treat at DragonCon, man. She was hilarious. Oh, dude, that that whole DragonCon, this DragonCon was really really fun and like boozier than normal <laughs> which is saying something for dragon Con. okay so so can we tell this story about kelsey ruining. without no. uh necessarily saying what was you were saying no. just, just use a different name okay all right no uh, just samantha okay. first no. first of all <laughs> first of all what the kelsey whatever happened with the kelsey story my story is more embarrassing and it happened the next night so i'll tell that story after this okay all right well well the 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 uh all right so 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 john's girlfriend kelsey is is adorable uh and which was what makes it so hilarious when she busts out like a like a swear out of nowhere <laughs> you know and the fact that uh uh and and i think that there was one like weird like like half awake uh you know dream state moment that was hilarious with her but then Getting ready for the live show at Dragon Con, we come up, <laughs> we come up stairs, and we're trying to get amped up. And like, and like, uh, Justin, it's just me and Justin. We're in our headspace because this is terrifying to me to go down and talk in front of people and be funny. I forgot about this one. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin, we get into the room. The door closes, and it's it's just us. And it's like, you know, this is it, bro. Headspace time. So and I understand this. The Dragon Con is one of the rare occasions where me and Brian are like for all intents and purposes, like celebrities. Like, and you can understand where celebrities would be like, Oh, it's overwhelming to kind of be in a situation where like you're always, there's always like people around and we want to spend time with you and it's really, really flattering, but also it's like on a level it's kind of draining. And like, so when you are getting ready for the show, it's just gotta be like, okay, well let's just get the energy going. So when we get on stage, it is it is ready to rock and roll. So, right, okay. Right. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace some words so it's not as horrific as what Justin actually said. So, <laughs> so just there's a substitution in there. So so we go inside. Uh, it it like to make me laugh and to get us all loosed up. He starts just singing. Uh, <clears throat> what was it? Uh, let me see. Uh, I got I got. I got those sprinkles on my cane. I got sprinkles on my cane. 
<laughs> and uh, imagine sprinkles is maybe the worst disease in history, and Kane is his penis. Uh, and so, uh, and, uh, and and so and so he. Was, I got some AIDS on my dink. Okay, well, all right. That's not even. That's still not where it was. But yeah. is this is this is this the joke? Where you have to tell this story every show? No. Wait. What, what do you mean? Have you, you already heard this one? Last time I was on here, yeah, I heard the story. I mean, I'm not trying to ruin it or anything, but it was no, didn't. no. This this is a real thing like a month ago. When did this happen then? Uh, like, like like it happened in Atlanta like last month. Okay, then oh, screw me. <laughs> this is apparently wow. Apparently, you know, apparently, there's many stories, and I don't doubt it, Corey. That yeah. there are many stories which in which I am loudly embarrassing myself. <laughs> so then, anyway, oh, there's consequences. But happen. here's the thing. So we're in there. Like he says that, and I'm bust up laughing. And then he sees that it's got me laughing. So he takes it up to the next level. Starts writing second, third, fourth verses to this thing, dancing <laughs> up on the on the, the the bed because it's like you know we're getting in that zone where we can walk out and be funny uh and then there's like then we are toilet flush and john's girlfriend walks out and, and it just gets dead silent and i'm like um now mind you i'm screaming <laughs> <laughs> like it's not like we're talking like i'm i am like dance hall like like dj like 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 if you see a mother all up in the club, put some aims on his dick. <laughs> uh, by the way, hold on. I got. I think that's another one. There's oh, that. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let me sir. show my belt. <laughs> let me, I don't want to see that belt again. <laughs> so okay, so um, so he says this, <laughs> and uh, and and out comes out comes John's girlfriend, who it's like we're all we're all. I don't want to say we're on eggshells or whatever, but it's like we don't want to be like. Like, I can't believe you made me share a room with those filthy people. So we're well, trying to be on good behavior. Kelsey's, Kelsey's super cool with everything, but it's just one of those, there was a moment, and I forget whether me or you said it. <laughs> one of us said the phrase, did you hear that? <laughs> and she's like, yes! <laughs> yes! That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so what was the, oh, do you want to share the, uh, the, the, the next night story? <laughs> Oh, that was last night. There was there was one night uh, uh, Kelsey had a thing where she woke up in the middle of the night and like what almost like made a beeline out of the bed and wound up falling on Chad and like like flailing around and that was pretty funny. The other night uh, I went to sleep and now it's me in a bed with Ashley, Chad who's on an air mattress, and then Kelsey and John that are in the next bed. Uh, I apparently went to the bathroom and then on my way back tried to get into the bed with Kelsey and John. <laughs> I was telling John to scoot over. So I wanted to be on the edge with John in the middle. And John's like, no, go. Sleep. You're sleeping with Ashley. Go sleep with Ashley. And I uh, I said, stop being a... <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Hold, all right, no, 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 no. But, but you're like, no, man, I'm going to sleep here. Like, like there was a, a full-on discussion of like, no, man, I'm going to sleep here. Like, no, get in your own bed. You're like, oh, just scoot over, man. Come on. <laughs> that was it, being very, very forceful. And then finally he put his foot down and was like, no, you're going over to the other bed. And uh, I looked like kind of disgusted with him <laughs> and then said, ugh, whatever, C-word. <laughs> <It's, it's, laughs> Went to sleep, <laughs> and then uh, and then went back to his own bed. Uh, dude, that was amazing. Do you, do you ever do? Wait, you guys did spill dot con. Well, I was about to ask if you ever did a convention, but you guys did two years. You had uh, Dell the Funky Homo Sapien at uh, spill dot com. I won them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last one we did was with Rooster Teeth. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Now, is that officially like folded in? You're going to do it as part of, of RTX from now on? I or? don't know. I, 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 you know, if I. would if you were to ask me, I think we could offer them more before they would, we would try to do it again. But I know that some of the things that people say they had a lot of fun with were things that we did. Yeah. Like uh, we did a costume contest, talent show. <clears throat> uh, you know, we uh, they would have brought in Master Pancake Theater, but we asked them to do Spill.com to say, uh, for us. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, man, we, yeah, we, I don't know. It could be. It could be. I mean, oh, okay, just tell us this. I mean, I know it's almost a year out, but like you'll have some kind of other thing, right? Definitely. Okay. Definitely, yeah. When it comes around, it'd be probably in June or July. Right on. Yeah. It was good. I got to perform. By the way, the, the whole thing week. of talking about I have sprinkles on my king, I was yelling that at one time. <laughs> I had that story confused. <laughs> that was me. 
I got scabs on my balls. I pain. got sugar on my balls. Sugar on my balls. Now I'm talking about like little cakes, yeah, you know? I'm not talking about, oh, you nasty cake, people. Cake, what do you think pops, we're talking about? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, wait, Justin, are we, are we all cleared up on sponsors? We're settled up. Heck yeah. You know what that means? That means I bet we got time right now. We could do a uh, movie draft minute. Movie draft this minute. Time. Hey, play uh, that jam again, man. Which one? The one when if somebody says a curse, you got No, play. I only do that when they say a oh. curse word. Oh, well, in that case, oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I was ready. I was totally ready for you to do it. <laughs> not okay with this this is not what i want <laughs> that's what i want all right I know. It's what I'm, i want i'm sure it is sir <laughs> somebody said twerk uh br- 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 hey uh, i thought okay oh. that's enough of that <laughs> <laughs> that's your new character he calls he's called the twerk jerk he just shows up and rubs his ass on you no, no, it's the twerk jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the movie draft minute. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Draft Minute for the week of October 7th, 2013. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. The winter season's upon us. Ouch! Video game music fills the air, the leaves <laughs> fall to the ground, and of course, a brand new stock of movies to follow. Let's go check out the rankings. Jeff Kanata, Padre Robert Balassar, Justin Robert Young, and Brian Brushwood are all tied for third place. Woo! Still waiting for their first film. Tom Merritt's in second place with Runner Runner bringing in $8.3 million this week. And in first place with Gravity bringing in $61.8 million, it's Casey McKinnon. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of October 7th, 2013. Dude, we're going to see uh, Casey's going to be at the top of this for a long ass time, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, until like the big movies. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, uh, you you know about our 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 movie draft? I have played that with you once before. Wait, when did you play? Were you um, in the? <clears throat> we did this one time. I, of course, I thought I heard that story from a week ago, like a year ago. So <laughs> of don't sprinkles listen to on me. your cane, yes. <laughs> sprangles on your cane. Sprangles. Sprangles. That's like, that's like a, I say. I, I picture like diseased, crumbled Doritos. <laughs> It's a disease called Sprangles. Sprangles. <laughs> I like a box of Sprangles, please. Uh, no, I did this with you once before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, oh. I gotta figure. I'm sure yeah, they it was know about a year ago. Or something. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but but anyway, um, uh, I forgot where I was headed with this. Um, <laughs> Justin and I obsessed. Oh, this is the first time that we're talking. Uh, yeah, this is the first time we're talking about it since the 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 draft. Uh, and I feel like we kind of have to expose our secret conversation about Tom Merritt's. Uh, Ender's Game strategy. <laughs> oh, that was, that was really bad. <laughs> so, uh, so we're all out of the gate, super hot on Ender's Game, and bid thirty when nobody else was saying a peep on it, <laughs> and wound up spending about twenty nine more dollars than he needed to to get that movie. <laughs> Someone says Justin is muted. Uh, that's uh, compared to how he usually is. Yes, yes, Ooh. he is. No, uh, uh, do you think do you think Ender's Game is going to make any cash? Oh, that's that's when is that coming out? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. That's probably a problem. Yeah, it's gonna make some money. That's all those commercials completely omitting the whole like the kids playing a video game and it's secretly the war. The reason why I'm asking when is it coming out is because one, I haven't seen a whole lot of marketing for it at this moment. Yeah. And the press that you have heard has been kind of negative because it's about what's his name Orson Scott oh, Card Orson like, Scott Card hates being the gays yeah it's, well yeah. first of all it's I hate the gays and then it slightly came out that he might be kind of racist too so you know the guy's kind of crazy yeah and uh so I don't, I don't know man and, and and it also depends on what it's coming up against uh they're saying November 1st which by the way this, this November 1st yeah this was the first week that I really started seeing a lot of ads for it which makes me wonder if uh I mean, that's a full month beforehand, which for something like this is a little bit big. Those trailers look just so generic. Though. Yeah, everything about it looks generic and forgettable. And, and uh, you know, they say the word like bestseller, but it's like they don't nothing. Nothing about it looks you, that way. It looks, okay. it looks like Starship Troopers. I'm going to say right now, if you're judging by what you're saying. Yeah, no, judge me. Seen, Go ahead, judge me. I'll say, judge say you all throne. the time, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. You see, I did it with my cousin mouth, too. You just like, yes. son of a bitch. That's good. But I think... I don't even think it reached twenty thousand. I mean, I'm sorry, twenty million. Twenty million. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. No, no I, I see it being like about a sixteen, seventeen million dollar opener. I think. I, yeah, I think that'll. That's what it'll open at. I think it'll hit like thirty million total. 
By the way, Brian, and and not to not to talk any gas to you, but you know what else looked super super generic was the Jack or the Jack Ryan. Yeah, I I, I mean that's the problem when you play the end game. The the movie's farther out. Uh, you, you just don't know. Okay, here's uh, we always talk about the difference between summer and move and and winter drafts. Uh, yeah. Summer draft. Once you get past July first, every week you go, the movies perform weaker, right? So it's like because all the holidays are over, uh, uh, yeah. you know, you don't want to buy it, no matter how good it looks. You don't want to buy something in the first week of August because you could still get a good hundred million dollar movie, but you might you're not you're less likely to get like the three hundred million right. dollar. But in the winter draft, your bigger bigger movies get closer and closer to Christmas, mm -hmm. right? So in this case, you know, not knowing what they are, I bought a bunch of movies because they were close to Christmas uh, and because everyone else was out of money. So I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I don't know how it's going to come out. I'm not very optimistic about my chances this year, but, uh, you know, regardless, still love the, Hey, uh, d did we ever find out, like, Twit did a second draft, right, with Patrick Delahanty, OMG Chad and crew? Twit staff did it, and uh, Broadpants is doing one this week. No kidding? Yeah, man. That's awesome. I'm going to tell you something. Go ahead. Okay. You have, <laughs> the week before Ender's Game comes out, you have... Jackass presents Bad Grandpa. That's going to be so huge. Which is going to be a big hit. That's that's Justin's movie, which he and I peed all over each other to get, and then I made him max out in order to get it. And then the week after that, you have for no, Dark I World. So Ender's Game, nah, nothing, nah. nothing, not even thirty. I you know I could see it. I could see it maybe reaching thirty, but it's huge. I, I don't. That's I, a little I, bit I, stretch. I'm sorry. I don't think they're, they're going to spend money enough on ads to get it to 50. Because like, I think anything under 50, I mean, like 50 is an going embarrassment to be for them. But think about who's in the movie. You got some kids that nobody knows. Yeah, but you Harrison got Kingsley and freaking Harrison Ford, they're which not, should be not. No, no, they're not. They've been in the trailers. <laughs> I, at said, all. I said they should and be. He's drawn. got crap drawn over his face like he's a white kid at a frat party who passed out. Like, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. The last movie that Harrison Ford did was Paranoia. No one saw that. All right? Yeah. You, you don't even remember. You think he, it was he, Paranoia. He was in right Star now. Wars, though. That made money. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, fine. <laughs> I got held out. I got nothing. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, no, all right. Yes? Don't do that. I will. Okay, well, I will. I'm done. In fact, in fact, I feel like it's time to wrap this thing up. This has been an amazing episode. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. It was a little bit uh, one sided at first, but I think we pulled it out. I love this, man. I think there's, I think there's an arm on my shoulder. Justin, you got anything you want to promote? I love this. Yes. Here's what I want to promote. Everybody who wants to get in their Diamond Club trailer clips, make sure uh, let, let's let's get a doc out there. Pay attention to me and Brian's Twitters, Justin R. Young and Nat Schwood. Uh, we'll get you all the information to submit your Diamond Club clips. We hope to have the Diamond Club fan-made trailer by the 200th episode next week. Yes, and don't forget our friend Small Beer, uh, the spouse of Tall Beer. Uh, what is it? Uh, tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. Is that right? Yes, K-A-T-I-B-E-R. If everybody votes for her right now. You She's only 800 votes away from hitting the top 10. We would love to make that happen. They're good friends. Uh, look, man, I love you. Do you got anything to promote, uh, Amtrekker? No. Oh. Right. All right. Well, screw you. Then uh, I didn't love you anyway. All right. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Choo!